What's going on guys and welcome back to the Wilson Auto Detailing Community. I am happy to announce that today is the official release of the new Wilson Auto Detailing Drill Brushes. But before we get into the specs and technicalities of what makes these drill brushes different than maybe what you've used before, I want to show you guys my four favorite ways of using drill brushes. And Coco's here with me doing all the work just to show that even if you don't have a ton of detailing experience, you can still use these like a pro. So my first and one of my favorite ways to use the drill brushes is simply to pull up pet hair. Now this can be used on regular carpeting, it can be used on floor mats, it can be used on the impossible carpeting, but basically I'm taking the yellow medium stiffness brush to this carpet before I do anything to it, before I vacuum it, before I shampoo it. And basically this makes my vacuuming way simpler, way quicker, and it makes it super simple when I go to shampoo it because there's nothing in the way. I'm not picking up crumbs or dog hair in particular. Pet hair is specifically hard to deal with and especially when you're dealing with the impossible carpeting which for a detailer happens all the time. This is definitely the best way I've found to deal with pet hair so far. I'm not saying it's the only way but so far for me this is the best way. Simply to stir it up with a drill brush beforehand use the vacuum cleaner afterwards, making it super simple to pull up, and then finishing with a final shampoo. And here's just a little picture of what half of the mat looks like that was treated and half that does not, just to give you a little bit of a picture of how well this works and in really, really little time. Another great way to use a drill brush, and particularly a really stiff drill brush, which in this case is the red, this is the stiffest one that comes in this set of three, is on weather mats. So a weather mat can be very frustrating because after you get done cleaning and it dries, it's only then that you actually see what was cleaned and what was not. It's kind of like car paint, and particularly dark color car paint. When it's wet, everything looks clean. So what I did here is just took a hose, washed off all the bigger things and then treated it with a little bit of degreaser and now I'm taking the red stiff drill brush and it's getting in all those cracks and crevices now one of the major things that's happening here is because this is a four inch in diameter drill brush I don't have to take a small one or a big one this is actually the perfect size to get in all of those grooves that are always in the weather mats that are really hard to clean and this probably takes maybe 60 seconds to clean the whole thing and when it's finished, every groove has been cleaned out because of the size, and this is what you're left with. Super quick, super clean, and it really makes it easy. Now, the next application for a drill brush is obviously going to be your car upholstery, particularly fabric seats, not just carpet that you would put your feet on. This is an area where you will seriously save time, headache, and honestly build a reputation with customers and maybe even just with your spouse if you're cleaning their car and you're just a car enthusiast. This is one of those areas where I would say it's just straight up a shame not to have this tool. The night and day difference you are going to experience when you use the white soft drill brush head on car upholstery, for anyone who has used one of these before, you know what I'm talking about. It literally doesn't just save you time, doesn't just save you headache. The results you're going to get here are always going to be better than the results you would do with any sort of manual agitation with just a simple upholstery or fabric brush. It really is that simple and it saves you time. It's just the win-win. This is a staple here. Here I'm treating a specific stain really quickly just to show you guys. This brush is soft enough to where it's not going to tear anything up or uh, maybe even fray the fibers. Everything is going to stay intact and at the same time you're going to get a crazy awesome cleaning power and at the end of the day you just save your, your energy. And here are the finished results in this particular situation. You guys can see the upholstery looks great maybe took a few minutes, no extractor, no steamer, nothing. The fourth and final application for the drill brushes that I want to hit on in this video is going to be the sidewall of a tire. I know some of you are thinking, Luke, you can't do that, you're going to tear up the wheel, or maybe you, you even might tear up the tire. Well, let me explain. Like I touched on before, 
These drill brushes were manufactured to a very specific size. They are the only 4-inch drill brushes that I have found are readily available. They were made that way on purpose, not just to fit a tire, but to fit upholstery better, to fit mats better, and basically anything you would put it on in a car. When used correctly, no, it will not tear up the sidewall of your tire. It's not strong enough to do that, and it was designed that way. One treatment with some degreaser of your choice, and one pass with this brush is plenty to then dress the tire, and these are the kind of results you get. You save energy, you save time, and you end up doing the same thing with way less effort. Okay, all of that being said, as far as how you use a drill brush, I'm sure you guys are wondering, Luke, why would I buy these drill brushes? What makes them different? I already use drill brushes. They last for a long time. I'm not trying to spend more money. Totally get it, and maybe these are not for you. Totally fine. But for those of you who are specifically using these for auto detailing, here's what I've done. In the detailing world, there's tons of new products and new inventions and new tools that get put out all the time. And my goal at Wilson Auto Detailing is never to put out something new and revolutionary, but rather I'd like to take my years of professional auto detailing experience and basically use that to tweak some of the products that are already on the market to make them even more suitable for auto detailers, even if the tool itself is not necessarily dedicated for the detailing world. And that's been my goal with these drill brushes. In the last eight years of doing professional auto detailing, drill brushes have been a total staple for me. And something that I learned very quickly, I could not go without just because it makes my cleaning ability and detailing ability so much more effective and fast. The problem I was running into is I could only find drill brushes that were five inches in diameter, even sometimes six inches, or something more like an inch and a half to two inches. So I had to buy a bunch of different sets and change out the size based on what I was doing. The biggest tweak that I made to these drill brushes and the biggest difference between these drill brushes and any others that I've gotten my hands on is simply that these are four inches in diameter. So I experimented a lot with different sizes and you can actually see behind me right about here on my peg board, those are a bunch of different samples of drill brushes of different sizes. And I found that a four inch drill brush actually works perfectly for the automotive world. So while others might use drill brushes for grout and tile cleaning, maybe even cleaning your bathtub or shower, again, I'm specifically talking to auto detailers. A four inch drill brush size makes it the perfect fit for doing upholstery, carpets, weather mats, even tires. It ends up being that happy medium that is big enough so that I can clean quickly and cover a lot of surface area, but not so big that I can't fit it in the little wedges and corners of a car that as an auto detailer you're always dealing with. The second major and final thing that I tweaked with these drill brushes is simply adding more bristles. So whether it's the soft white attachment, the medium yellow attachment, or the hard red attachment, each of these was specifically manufactured with more bristles. One major thing that I found was the more bristles I could stick into the brush, the less likely they were to fall out because you end up having more density, more pressure where these are actually put into the plastic backing and they end up falling out much less frequently. The second thing is, for obvious reasons, the more bristles you can put in a brush, it ends up making it clean a bit better. It's a bit stiffer, even with the soft end brush. And of course, you have more bristles that are cleaning at any particular time. Another big reason that I added more bristles to the brushes is because many times in the past years of me using and buying and going through drill brushes, they would only actually have bristles on the outer circle or the outer part of the brush itself, and the entire center would be totally vacant and be empty of any bristles, and so I just wasn't getting as much surface area covered at any given time that I was cleaning. Now these fit into any just standard drill brush, but I have an adapter here that I'll also hook up in the YouTube description box below where you can easily just change them out. Rather than having to twist this into the drill head every single time, it works really easily to remove it and put it back in whenever you're trying to exchange brushes. Now in saying all of that, I just want to reiterate, there's nothing revolutionary about these brushes and that was not the intention. Once again, the intention in the Wilson Auto Detailing community is not to invent anything crazy that you know sells for a little while but doesn't actually help out the auto detailers. The idea is to take what was a problem area for me in the past eight years of professional auto detailing and what seems to be the consensus among many other pro detailers where 
there's small things that could be improved to make certain tools way more attractive to auto detailers and actually practically help them in the outworkings of their business. And that was the idea here behind adding more bristles and finding that happy medium of the perfect drill brush size, specifically so professional auto detailers can just make their life easier and quicker while maintaining the same results. So for those of you wondering, these drill brushes are officially listed on amazon.com. I will hook up a link in the YouTube description box below should you wanna check these out and get your hands on them. They're selling right now for $25.99 and that includes all three of these brushes. And truth be told, drill brushes are not something that you go through super quickly. So unless you're using these just multiple times a day, seven days a week, it's more or less a one-time buy. So if you wanna pick these up, definitely check out the Amazon link in the YouTube description box below. And please let me know what you think about them when you end up getting your hands on them and you're able to implement them in your auto detailing world. Guys, thank you so much as always for being involved in the Wilson Auto Detailing community. And from Luke, here at Wilson Auto Detailing, Keep working hard, and I will see you guys in the next video.